What's good, y'all? It's your boy, F, and I'm back with another video. I do feel a little bit better today than I did in the last video. Still feel a little bit in my throat. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, <clears throat> but I do feel a lot better. Now, I know you see almost every damn YouTuber with a decent, cool car make a video like this, but I said, fuck it. I thought it'd be fun and interesting to do it with my car. So today, we're going to talk about the six things that I like about my car. I was trying to narrow it down to five, but there's actually a lot of stuff I like about my car, so let me give y'all six. So with that out of the way, we're gonna get this shit rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so number one. Now this is probably the most favorite part of my car, and you could probably guess what I'm about to say. Damn sunroof. I'm telling you. I don't know if you guys watched my previous video where I reviewed and introduced my car. If you didn't, go watch that video. But I talked about my sunroof briefly, and this is the most favorite part of my car. I don't know. When I got this car, I wasn't really looking to have a car that had a sunroof. It wasn't, you know, a specific option. But now that I have one, I won't settle for nothing less. I mean, I don't know what it is. I... I don't know. Maybe just because it brings more light into the car, especially on a nice sunny day, especially in the summertime. Or maybe just because it looks cool, especially even if you don't have it like all the way up, even if you just have it cracked up the end. I don't know. This makes the car look sportier. If that makes any damn sense. But one thing I like about this car, you know, if I'm like having a bad day, just when you know, you know, you know when you have a bad day, you just want to love chillax in your car, you know, just to get away from the rest of the world, you know put a couple tunes on, you know, just sit back, relax, like this, put the chair back, open that bitch up, and then it's just you vibing, chilling in your car, especially at night, it's pretty cool, you know, you just want to sit in your car, it's at night time, especially in the summertime, you know, roll the seat back, pop the sunroof open, look at the sky, just chillax, vibe, but like I said, sunroof my most favorite part about this car number two the second thing that i like about this car is the interior now what i mean by that is everything is just simple and clean now, i'm one of those people where i don't like a car that's so damn complicated you don't know how to control everything especially with them newer foreign cars surprisingly for a foreign car this is a foreign car everything's simple now probably because the car is almost 11 years old but most other foreign cars that I've been in, everything looks fucking complicated. Like, even the climate controls and shit, like, they make that shit so complicated. Like, at least American cars make shit simple. Also, what I mean by when I say I like the interior is the leather seats. Now, obviously, leather seats have their pros and cons, but what I like about leather seats are they just look better. I don't know. And they are a hell of a lot easier to clean. Oh my goodness. Whew. My first car had cloth seats. And you know what? Speaking of my first car, I'll have to say that for another video, talking to y'all about my first car. But the funny part is, one of my neighbors next door to me happens to have the very first car that I own. And I told you guys what my first car was, but if you guys can see it, yeah, that piece of shit right there. If you guys didn't watch my video where I, you know, introduced my car and everything, I told y'all that my first car was a 2003 Dodge Intrepid. That was the worst car to own. And it's just funny that my neighbor right next door to me owns that car. We actually had a conversation the other day because I was working on my car and then he was telling me all the problems he's bad with his car. I'm like, yep, that sounds about right. Anyway, getting off topic. But like I was saying, everything is simple. Now I know it's a 10 year, 10, 11 year old car. It's not gonna be, you know, high tech, but I still like that everything's simple. It's, everything's easy to control, you know. Got everything's, everything's displayed to the driver where it's easy for them to see where everything's at. It's not like trying to freaking figure out some type of damn algorithm to try to, you know, work everything. You guys get what I'm trying to say. Everything's simple, you know, simple dash, simple steering wheel, nothing too complicated, simple radio. 
I'm going to explain what happened with my screen. That'll be for another video. Stay tuned for that. Now, number three. The third thing that I like about my car is the engine. Now, usually when people hear Nissan Altima, they think, oh, 2.5 cylinder. It's a slow ass car. Well, I have the V6. Yeah, I, I got the V6, so don't try to roast my car. I don't do 2.5s or four cylinder shits. I like a little power in my car. But yeah, I do have the 3.5 V6 in my car. And I like that just because, you know, I'm a speed demon. I wanna go fast. I got stories upon stories. Let's just say I should not have my license right now, but we'll keep that a secret for now. But yeah, not to really explain much about that. I just, I like that I have a V6, you know, semi-powerful engine. Wouldn't call it powerful, but it has some get up. Now, number four. The fourth thing I like about my car is the daily drivability. I believe I said that right. What I mean by that is, this is a very, surprisingly, you'd be surprised. This is a, for the most part, this is a roomy, spacious car. Like, I'm 6'5", in case you guys didn't know, and I might seat back a little bit. See if I can put it in like an upright position. Even upright, I got about a good inch or two. And with the sunroof back, or the sunroof visor thingy, whatever the hell you want to call it. With that back, gives me like about an extra inch or two right under the sunroof. So, kind of acts like a head cutout, which I like. I don't know why people say that cars with a sunroof, the roof is lower. I don't know, like if you think about it, when you slide this panel back, it obviously gives you like an extra couple inches, like right under the sunroof glass. So I don't understand why people say that. Anyway, we're not gonna get all up into that. Like I said, the daily drivability in this car for the most part, I'll give it a, I'll give it a good eight out of 10. The trunk space is pretty damn good. You could probably fit two, three suitcases in there. I can, I've taken a bunch of road trips in this car. No problem. And if you guys can see, like I said, I'm 6'5". Now I can't put my legs completely straight, but you know, that's what I'm working with right there. Not bad. The only issue is whenever I'm driving, you know, my calf mostly, you know, rubs against this. And it kind of like, if I'm like on a long road trip, sometimes this leg will get cramped up. But usually on a, like a regular drive, I'm like I'm driving to work or wherever, going to the store or something. It's fine for me. So number five, the fifth thing that I like about this car is the outside visual looks. I don't know, like when I first got this car, I didn't know what the hell the Altima was, to be real with you. I was like, I don't know, like I said, if you haven't watched the video, go check that video out when I introduced my car, where I explained how when I was looking for a car, I was actually looking for a Dodge, because my first car was a Dodge. So, you know, I, you know, became part of the Dodge family. Mopar, no car. So I didn't see myself, you know, being in a foreign car or owning one for that matter. But when I first saw this car, I saw the, like, the outside looks, I was like, damn, it's a little different never seen something like that before so i ended up getting it but yeah i do like the outside looks I, my favorite part on the outside is the spoiler i don't know it just gives it a more aggressive look and then i also like the turn signals on the side mirrors i think that's pretty cool i thought that only came like with newer cars until i was car shopping and i saw like oh older cars have them too I'm like that's pretty cool and i also like the back end i don't know like I like how the back, like, I'm trying to explain it for you guys, so you know what I'm trying to, so you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to explain it in a way that you guys understand where I'm, where I'm coming from. But I like how, like, the car just, like, swoops down to, like, the rear end of the car and, like, into the back end. I don't know. It gives it, it has, like, a coupe style, if you know what I'm trying, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I like how the car has, like, a coupe style, even though it's not a coupe, it's a four-door. And I also like the color of the car. Like a lot of people think at nighttime or from like from a distance, my car is black. I wish it was. I actually want to get it repainted black. 
But no, my car is actually a dark blue. Now, I've never really been strong on dark blue because I've seen this same color on other cars. And to me, it didn't look right on the cars that I've seen it on. But when I saw it on this car, I was like, you know what? I actually like that. Uh, honestly, this is just me not being biased or anything. This is my personal opinion. But I think this dark blue looks better on Nissans. I don't know. Maybe a few other people out there that agree with me. But think about it. If you see dark blue on other cars made by other car manufacturers, don't look right. Plus, you really don't see many car manufacturers using the dark blue. Because somebody told me that this paint color on my car is actually a rare color. I don't know. Maybe they could have been smoking some shit and just told me some random gibberish. But that's somebody told me that. But maybe they could be right because you don't see this color a lot. But anyway, number six. Now, the sixth thing that I like about this car is it is very easy to modify. And what I mean by that is, and I'm sure people will get an idea or understand what I mean. When you look at a lot of newer cars, these manufacturers with, their, with these newer cars that are coming out nowadays, they make it in, every car is different, but for most of the newer cars that I've seen, they make it damn near impossible to, you know, take stuff apart in a car. And I'm not meaning like rip shit out and start fucking shit up. What I mean by is like how I told you when I showed you guys the lights under my dash and how I like ran the wire back through the panels, like where your leg sits, like where um, your right leg sits when you're driving or if you're in the passenger front seat, your left leg will be against that panel. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is what I was trying to explain. These panels right here, like you see how it easily comes off. I was able to run the wires on, if you guys can see it. The wire for those lights are run behind these panels and then it runs under my dash and then they easily pop on like that with clips. But like I was saying, a lot of newer cars make it difficult to do shit like that. So like if you wanna do any type of interior visual mods, it's kind of hard. Now, like I said, I could be wrong. It depends on the car, but the cars that I've seen, newer ones, I have, uh, I know a few people with newer cars that saw my lights and asked me like, oh, how did you do that? And I explained, and they're like, well, I can't do that with my car. And plus I got lucky because the positioning of, I don't, I don't know what people call it. I just call it the cigarette lighter port or where you put a phone charger in. You get what I'm saying. But it's convenient how it's behind this center storage right in front of my gear shifter. So that way it was like right there so I could easily run the wire through. I didn't have to do like extra wiring or nothing. So like I said, it all depends on the car and the positioning of like where your outlets and plugs and shit are at. And also when I say it's easy to modify, this is generally with older cars. You see a lot more aftermarket parts. And replacing stuff on this car for the most part is easy. You, I showed you guys how I took out my taillights and you replaced the taillight bulbs and well, my turn signal bulbs. If you didn't check out that video, go check it out right now. But it literally takes me less than 10 minutes to take those taillights out. And there's actually taillights that I found from my car that I want to get. Kind of like borderline to sign if I really want to or not or just leave the stock taillights on with the night shades on them but i'm still debating but yeah that's about it those are the six things that i love about my 2007 nissan ultima daily drivability the engine sunroof interior the way it looks on the outside and it's easy to modify but that's about it that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoy if you did you know what to do give it a like leave a comment down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend I'll catch you on the next one.